Okay, in this slide we will talk a little bit about secondary uh, batteries. Uh, secondary batteries are very important because they can be recharged after they have been used. Or in other words, after the battery has gone uh, flat. And uh, what we do after we fully discharge a secondary battery is that we can return the secondary battery to the original charge state by simply passing a current in the opposite direction to the charging current. So in practice, what we do is very simple. We just connect the negative terminal of an external uh, voltage source and this could be in the form of a power supply to the anode, the negative electrode of the secondary battery and we also connect the positive terminal of the external voltage source to the cathode of the <coughs> secondary uh, battery. Uh, the secondary batteries are are very useful because they are what we call energy, electrical energy storage or EES devices, electrical energy storage devices. And the older term for these devices is the accumulator. <coughs> so one very simple example uh, we can see at the uh, bottom of the page here are the uh, lead acid batteries which we use in the motor car and there are various other important examples such as the sodium sulfur battery the uh, nickel metal hydride battery and the lithium ion battery which will be discussed in a separate uh, tutorial uh, in this uh, in this series the secondary batteries uh, have several characteristics and you can see that uh, they basically have a good uh, power density their discharge curve is uh, relatively flat and they can also operate at uh, low temperatures this slide just shows us uh, why uh, secondary batteries are, are vital uh, the uh, lead acid uh, battery which is a type of secondary battery, uh, provides all the onboard uh, power and also the power to start up the internal combustion engine in both the private uh, vehicle and in these uh, diesel-driven uh, trucks and lorries.